eyes are red. I just, I don't feel well. And I'm supposed to call guest services. <laughs> cruise and I still have to pack uh, from the hotel room and whatnot I'm just a little bummed out because I was supposed to go visit my friend um the one that I do the podcast with that we've never seen in person I was supposed to go but we've been friends for over a year now we FaceTime almost every day and whatnot but I was supposed to go visit him the day that we come back off of the cruise we're gonna spend new years uh together and just hang out and vibe and finally meet each other you know and we like um spoke about it to like up until last week and we've been talking on the phone and everything this week he's um he sent a message oh i didn't know that you were still coming because it was kind of left up in the air and i'm like wait what like, I sent you a ticket showing that, like, when I was leaving and all that stuff. What are you talking about? And I hadn't heard anything. And I was like, yo, let me know what's going on because I don't want to sit here, like, have wasted my money. You know what I mean? So he's posting on social media and whatnot. I'm like, bro, are you serious? Like, answer me. That was Instagram on a message, and I called him. And he said he didn't answer. I was like shaking my head he was like what are you shaking your head for and i'm like bro i'm trying to call you because i'm trying to make sure everything is in line with the the my travel arrangements so you know and i'm calling 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 texting 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 for days and nothing but he's still posting on instagram so clearly nothing's wrong with him he's still posting on instagram so I waited up till the end of, because when I go on the cruise, we didn't purchase the Wi-Fi package. So I'm not going to have any service on the, the cruise, right? So I waited up till the day of the cruise to hold out before I, like, call the airline to, like, cancel my flight and make new arrangements. Because then I'll be stranded out here, right? And that's just dumb. I wake up this morning and I still have no messages from him. So I'm like, wow, okay. So I called the airline and I lost money from my flight. And luckily, I talked to them where I was able to get some kind of money back. Because before they were just going to give me a credit, but still take out a whole fee. And I'm just so irritated because it's just like, yo, why do people do stuff like that? Like, when I tell you I believe strongly in karma, it's just ridiculous. Like, me and you have been friends for over a year now. You know what I mean? And we talk about everything, like everything under the sun. And I'm supposed to go visit you. And you wait till the week of me coming to visit you to start doing some shady stuff. This is the second time. And it's my fault. This is the second time that I purchased tickets to go see him and he bailed on me or did some weird stuff this is the second time and we had stopped talking for like six months then he reached out to me apologizing because he he took responsibility for it so we became cool again we went back to normal we started our podcast we were like yo let's finally meet bro because we're at this point we're like best friends but we haven't met and then now you turn around and you do the bogus stuff again. And it's just like, it makes me sometimes think like, is it me who, like, is it something with me that keeps allowing this type of dumb crap to be happening? But I guarantee that these things, I've learned too many lessons in my life and I cannot go into the new year doing the same patterns over and over again because the same results are going to keep happening and it makes me sit here looking stupid in the face 
while you're out there living your life i'm looking stupid in the face and then wasted money again again wasted money whatever um but like my mom said everything is a learning experience some things are harder lessons than others this was a hard lesson to learn yeah so i just lost a friend 2018 has been really rough for your girl um i'm trying not to cry because it's just been a really rough year for me um i learned a lot i've lost a lot but it's really been like a really rough year so I'm just kind of ready for this year to be over. This is like the icing on the cake for how crappy this year has been. So I'm truly over it. I'm I'm tired. Like it's, it has truly taught me a lot. And one thing I'm grateful for is it has it has allowed me to know that I have to depend on me and I have to take care of me and the only person that can make me happy is me no one else nothing no thing nothing but me so I want to wish you guys a happy new year and um, I'll see you in 2019 on fresher spirits and with new goals and it's time to get it. It's time to get it. All right, y'all. Well, I didn't expect to do all this when I came on the daggone camera, but I love y'all. And I will see y'all in a new year. Toodaloo. Bye. Familia? Gang gang? It's right on the station. Is it two beds? Yeah. Oh, I about to say. Wait a minute. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Right here. Where? Right here. Oh, mom, your bag. I still have your bag. So, guys, my first experience on this ship and it was all good when the boat was barely moving and then oh. so I already threw up twice sissy's in the back there we both have like motion sickness my god like it's going like it's legit you could feel it going back it's like this
I just don't like we had dinner and I couldn't even sit up there for more than 10 Bree how long were we there like 10 minutes 10 minutes and I just I was like I gotta go my eyes are red I just I don't feel well and I'm supposed to call guest services for this like motion sickness thing and I, I can't even get up to even go to the phone to call it started off well <laughs> but and I'm on my menstrual as well so it's just a lot it's a lot anyways I'm about to lay it down and I feel like I have to throw up again. Alright, uh, Crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the porch? Goofy with the curb.